So today I wanted to talk about how bad the Lakers were last night in game two for a quick couple of minutes. I know this is a way different video from what I usually do, but I absolutely have to talk about this. The Lakers just gave up the biggest upset in NBA playoff history last night, in my opinion. This was a Lakers team that had a healthy LeBron James, whether Anthony Davis is banged up or not, he still played and started a way deeper lineup that was mostly healthy. I mean, everybody played for the Lakers. They were 100%. And they were going up against a Memphis Grizzly squad that was missing four players, two of which were starters. Three of their top eight guys, because Brandon Clark was out, and he's a top three bench player for them. And oh yeah, their best player, Ja Morant, was one of the guys that did not play either. And LeBron James and company, specifically Anthony Davis, could not get the job done. Anthony Davis and LeBron James are two of the biggest fucking bums I've ever seen in the NBA. Anybody that says that LeBron James is better than Michael Jordan, you are clueless and you don't know anything about basketball. Let's just settle it. LeBron James can't win games by himself in the playoffs like Michael did. And he sure as hell hasn't won championships like Michael did, in a much tougher era of basketball, I might add. So anyway, back to last night. I'm watching the game. LeBron in the first half would not shoot the ball, especially at the very start of the first quarter. I mean, that's the best way to start off a game, right? And as a result, they trailed for about 45 of the 48 minutes of the entire game. He was making terrible passes. D'Angelo Russell couldn't hit a shot to save his life. He had five points the entire game. And Davis, the biggest clown of them all, had his worst performance of his entire career in the regular season or in a playoff game. He shot 4 of 14 from the floor and played uh, 38 minutes. D'Angelo may have went 2 for 11 in 30 minutes played, but AD, he's the number two guy. Some say he's supposed to be the number one guy at this point in LeBron's career. He played horribly. LeBron, on top of all of this, went a plus-minus, minus 17 when he was on the floor against a battered Memphis team who didn't have Morant, who didn't have Steven Adams or Brandon Clark. And those are, those are three of their top five defensive players. Jaron Jackson was the only lights-out defender left that was playing for them. And he got banged up three different times during this game. Let me say this again in case you didn't hear me. LeBron James went a minus 17 on the floor against these bums. This was a game that the Lakers should have won by 30 points. I'm not kidding. And they ended up losing by 10 points. The final score was 103 to 93 in favor of Memphis. The Lakers couldn't even score 100 points against a team that didn't have three of their top five defenders playing at all. And on top of that, their best player wasn't playing. I have zero faith in this Laker team. I can't even believe that people are having faith in a seven seed that hasn't been able to win on the road most nights because they've been so inconsistent all season. I know they won a game against the Grizzlies in game one, and they should win the series now because they have home floor advantage. But that was a fucking disgrace last night. I know this is a revamped lineup, but these are all very streaky shooters. And it showed last night. LeBron James and Anthony Davis should be paying every single person who turned, tuned in to watch that game or who paid for the tickets to watch that game who wasn't a Memphis fan. Not just from a monetary standpoint, but from a wasted time standpoint. I mean, I wasted three hours of my life. I'm never going to get that time back. That seriously was the biggest joke, the biggest joke of a playoff performance you, that you were ever going to see from anybody. And it came from the guy that some people call the best player of this generation. I mean, way to let people down, LeBron. I'm done talking about a bullshit team. Fuck LeBron, fuck Davis, fuck the Lakers. That was the biggest upset in NBA playoff history for a single game in my eyes. David versus Goliath in terms of who was out on that floor last night. They thought they were going to win 
that game because they had Lakers on the front of their jersey and they put in zero effort. No effort at all. They were lazy, especially on the defensive end of the floor. At one point, I saw Dylan Brooks fly by not one, not two, not three, but four Lakers jerseys for a wide open layup. They pretty much let Memphis win. Fuck them. Don't watch any of LeBron's games ever again. That's my advice. Fuck LeBron James. I'm disgusted. That wasn't even basketball. That was a lazy, half-assed bullshit performance. And I'm out.